Hey. Hey. Did you check in on Mr. Panghorn today? Just came from him. He's okay. still very uncomfortable. Well, then he's not ready for that physical therapist yet, is he? Agreed. You know, it might be a good idea for you to go check on him yourself. He's very fond of you. And then again, who isn't? Thanks. Hey. Flowers. Thank you. A gift. Yes, uh, from a secret admirer. Oh. Unfortunately. But then again, it could be from one of hundreds of people. Uh... Doctor. Yeah. Is there something going on that I should know about? Between you and Dr. Boudreaux? Don't start with me, Claire. Don't even think about starting with me. Okay. Fine. I will go check on the biopsy results from Mr. Barzoni. Great. Why don't you do that? I'll go do that. this work? Oh, that's perfect. It's a great idea. What? You know, putting the flowers there so everybody can enjoy them. Oh, I'm not gonna put them there. I have a different idea. Well, naturally. Far be it from us to agree on anything. I mean, if I said the sky was blue, you would say it was cloudy, right? It is cloudy today. Could you put those in room 322, please? Miss Bailey? Well, maybe we can cheer up a little bit. What, you think I should have left them there? No. I'm just... I'm just very impressed that you're not giving up on our toughest patient, that's all. Now, why would I do that, Doctor? I'm in it for the long haul. Do you know, you're turning out to be quite the physician, Doctor. Complete with a wonderful bedside manner and a very healthy perspective. Rick, don't. What? What, feel free to compliment you? I happen to know all there is to know about Rick and Mel's friendship. Oh, interview. yeah, it's a friendship. It is a friendship right. because Rick is totally open and honest with me. And if he said he was breaking things off with Mel, he was breaking things off. It didn't look like that to me. I think it's time you go, okay? You just can't stand it when I'm right about something. All right, what is your point? What are you, what are you saying to me? Are you saying that Rick and Mel have some big, hot and heavy thing that I'm not aware of? Is that no, what you're no, saying? You know what? You're a cop. Stick of the evidence. What evidence? Well, there was the kiss. Right? Uh-huh. And uh, there was the flowers. He gave her flowers? Oh, yeah, there was flowers. Flowers were definitely involved. I was even there when she opened the card and said, oh, my love, Rick. Now, think about it. A guy doesn't send a woman a beautiful, expensive bouquet of flowers when he wants to give her the boot, get rid of her. No, he gives her a beautiful, expensive bouquet of flowers when he is still interested. Did I tell you about the card? Oh, he said, oh, my love... Shut up! Right. Oh, my love, Rick, is what he said. Mm hmm Okay. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. It could happen. Rick and Mel used to be friends, and now they're not anymore, so the bouquet of flowers was actually an official peace offering. See, that's what I think it was. Except there was that kiss. And that kiss was electric. Electric, oh, huh? Oh, yeah, it was electric. You saw it? Mm-hmm, I saw it. Mm -hmm. I happened to get there a... just in time. I love a kiss. Yeah. Well, I know... I know that you're hurting, you know? I have been there. Whew. Really? No. Yes, yes. Do you see me with anybody? Do you? I know how this, uh, you know, hits you. I know how it... Look. I know that you wanted it to work out with Rick, and I am sorry. Well, it's... I, an, I'm not angry. No. I'm not even really jealous. I mean, we don't feel that way about each other. I'm just surprised. Right. Well, you know, maybe actually it's better that this happened. You, you get to see it for yourself, and you just know how, th you know, things are meant to be. Great. Don't worry about it. It's gonna get better. Don't worry. Off. Hmm? Get your hand off me. I know what you're up to, and it's not gonna work. <laughs>